Hello, this is Mikey with another After Effects tutorial. Now, I wanted to kind of talk a little bit about my new free plugin I put out there and then show you how to recreate it for free. If you don't want to, get it for free. <laughs> but it, also, you're going to learn some stuff. So that's kind of cool. But like what the plugin is, it's called Quick Cover. Um, if we go to Effects, Element Supply, Quick Cover. And then what it does is it creates a four color gradient that samples the color at the corner and so you can like cover up things right and kind of quickly cover up something to like do a sign replacement and then I can come in and do like some blending and things like that and and make it look better anyways I want to show you how to create this without using the plugin and it'll, and honestly it's just easier to go get the plugin it's super fast but if you don't want to and you want to just learn how to recreate on your own, let's do that really quick. So it's going to work a little bit differently, but there's a few things that this is doing. First is it's it's kind of cropping the edge or it's creating a shape. Then it's adding a four color gradient and then it's sampling the corners for that four color gradient of what colors to do. So we're going to recreate that on a separate layer instead of on the layer where the, the image is because just how the four color gradient works in sampling images, that's kind of how you have to do it. Um, with the plugin, it's all on the single layer. With this, we have to create a new layer. And so let's just create a new solid and it's black, that's fine. And then on this, we're going to create a mask. And so I'm gonna just double click on this rectangle tool and it'll create a mask around that. Now, there's a script that comes included with After Effects called the Create Nulls from Paths. And so I'm going to use that. So if I click on the mask path down in this mask, and then I have the points follow nulls, what will that do is it'll create these four null points. And the position of these is going to adjust the position of that mask. So pretty handy. Now back onto that black solid, let's go ahead and give it a name, call it slow cover <laughs> instead of quick cover. And then we're going to add to this an effect, which is, I'll just search for it, for color gradient. And that's in generate for color gradient. Now what I want to do is there's, it has, you have the point of each thing. And then you have the color of each thing. Okay, so now what we want to do, I need some little more space here, is we want to take these position of these nulls, and I want to connect them to the four color gradient, the position of each of these points. So let's just go point one, and I'm going to pick whip. I, I just option clicked on the stopwatch that opens up the expression dialog box. And I'm gonna use this pick whip and I'm going to bring it up to position of that top null. And now it'll connect to it. And let's do that for all of them. So point two. Point three. And point four. Now what you'll see is now that those colors are moving with the points. So they're constantly at that, where that point is. Then the last thing we need to do is just sample the image color from below. And so let's show you how to do that. So let's go into, let's uh, close all these down so there's more room. And so what I'm going to do is under the color, I'm going to pick whip the layer below, which is this, the sign. And I'm going to do dot and I start, I'm going to start typing sample image and then it samples that. Now what it wants in here is it wants a position. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to in, make sure I'm inside of those parentheses and I'm going to pick whip again, that position of that first null object. And you can see it's starting to sample the color of where it's at. 
So what I can do is you can see that there's kind of a way that these are all formatted, right? This is 1.0, 1.1, 1.2, 1.3. So I can just come in here and just copy this, go into the next color, and then change this so it's 1.1. Go to the color 3. Do the same thing. This is now 1.2. And then color 4. Paste that in. 1.3. Three. Now what we have here is essentially the same thing that we've built by hand. Quick cover or slower cover. So and there it is all rigged up or you can just go get the, <laughs> the plug-in from uh, elementsupply.company. So there's a link to that in the description or you can just follow along and you know what at the very least you learn some new stuff. Um, for instance, like the sample image thing, um, that's something that not a lot of people use. So hopefully you learned some cool stuff again. Thank you so much. And we'll see you next time.